Hey YouTube family, it's Daughter of the Most High. When I got home from work today, I did what I usually do and I check out YouTube and Facebook and I saw that Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian, the channel that I posted about the other day um, and that I'm brand new to, had um, an emergency alert it looks like it's about to go down Putin to use nukes soon. So I listened to his short video, eight minutes long, and he was actually pointing um, his um, subscribers and watchers to the channel Canadian Prepper. So he was just sharing what this man had shared earlier today about what is going on. So I went ahead and went to Canadian Prepper and I'm new to him too. And I wanted to hear what he had to say. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play about five minutes of his video. So here we go. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. Your time is precious, so I'm certainly not gonna waste it. Thank you for sharing it with me today. This is a late night video and I wouldn't waste your time if I didn't have something to say. And uh, what I wanna tell you guys today is that I'm selling any stock that I have left because I do believe that the mother of all black swan events is right around the corner and I'm going to tell you why now we have Putin allegedly hiding in a bunker warning all his family members that it's time to make sure that you have your bags packed because we might have to fly you out to this bunker with his finger over the nuclear trigger allegedly okay we have Poland asking NATO for nuclear weapons, even though, as I've been told, as long as you have the delivery systems, you technically are a nuclear superpower. Therefore, anybody, any country who's in possession of F-35s will effectively be a nuclear superpower because F-35s can deliver nuclear weapons. This is what I've heard. Anyways, we have Ramzan Kadyrov, now third in command of the Russian military. Third in command, that's quite the promotion. Only days after, this is the Chechen leader, the war hawk. People uh, call him Putin's pit bull. Whatever you want to call him, the guy who's sending his three 16-year-old sons or 16, 14, whatever, to uh, fight on the front lines of Ukraine. This guy has now been promoted only days ago recommended that Putin authorize the use of tactical nuclear weapons on the battlefield in Ukraine in order to push back the uh, offensives that are going on, that are being waged by the Ukrainians right now. If you folks out there believe the Western mainstream narrative, you need to have your bug out bags packed. And by Western media narrative, I mean that Ukrainians are winning and the Russians are being pushed back to the line. I want you to understand something right now. Please stop everything you're doing and listen to me. Watch this video. I'm not trying to hypnotize you or anything. I just want you to understand something. If the Russians are actually losing this war and are being pushed back to the line, the, the line, which of course is now deeper into their territory, because of course, as of today, it's official. Everything's been signed. Putin ratified by the Duma. Everything is now official. According to the Russian Federation, those four occupied territories are Russian territory, meaning that Ukraine is now on Russian territory. According to the Russians, don't cancel me, okay? But if you're one of these people who changed your avatar and uh, is well-meaning and all the rest, and you have the Ukrainian flag on your avatar, and you think that Putin is losing this war, you need to have your bug out bags packed. You need to put as much food, water as you can into your basement. If possible, dig a, a bunker as deep as you possibly can immediately. Because if Ukraine is actually successful in their campaign to drive the Russians out, which not many people think they're going to be, and I'm going to tell the, you the reasons why in a minute, you need to prepare for nuclear Armageddon. Because that's guaranteed to happen. You don't understand this, do you? A lot of you don't understand that if Russia loses the conventional war, it's nuclear war. That's what Elon Musk was trying to tell people. Even he understands the gravity of the situation. You have all of these YouTube channels now coming out of the woodwork, making this the focal point of their videos for the last few days, 
because everybody understands they're still calling me a fear monger. I mean, that's fine. It's copium, it's denial, it, it's what it is, it's plausible deniability, it's, you know, trying to get more credibility from the self. I don't, I don't know what it is, I really don't care. But we have been uncannily accurate in our predictions thus far, and the only reason I chalk that up to is because we try to view this situation objectively. Okay, we don't follow the Western media narrative, but we also don't succumb to the Russian media narrative. And there are two different accounts, and uh, both think they're correct. Both think they're the de facto truth of the matter. And uh, that's our options right now. Either Russia wins the war conventionally, and a lot of people don't want to hear this. I, I don't understand how a person, maybe people just repress the idea, they just hope that Putin's bluffing. No, we're not going to, you know... We're not going to destroy the planet, <laughs> right? Because I can't remain in charge. You guys need to understand something about the leadership class in any country. They have a one-way ticket to a bunker that's buried under 1,000 mm -hmm. feet of rock and granite. In Russia's case, granite. They'll be fine in a nuclear war. I mean, their privilege is going to be sustained. Yeah, they may not be billionaires and you just a mere wage slave trying to get by... But they're going to be the people with food and bullets and water. And protection. While your hair is falling out. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> you have nothing to eat. That divide relatively is as great. They're going to maintain that edge over you. And this is why they can play this nuclear game of chicken with a poker face. Because they have less to lose. They're playing with other people's money. They're playing with our lives. And it's to the point where you almost need... And they don't care. They don't care. ...to start seeing a bit of a movement against this insanity. And I'm not saying I'm going to be the one to lead it, but I'm just saying if you really think that... he The video goes on for another 20 minutes. And I'll leave that link in the description. Um, as well as I'll put in um, Paul's two, which is about eight minutes long. I'll put them both in, but they're essentially and uh, essentially the same thing. One of the things that has become very evident to me in the last few years since the Lord has awakened me and brought me into the narrow path and the truth about um, what is going on in the world and the corruption and the evil and the plan and everything else that I can tell you that the wealthy elites and the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the Satan followers, the wealthy elites, we are nothing but cattle to them. Be clear on that. We're nothing but cattle to them. Why? Because they follow their God, which is Satan in his ways. And so they have his character on the inside of them. And so they don't care about our lives. They don't care what this means for us. And so we have to understand that. Um, and it takes a it takes a little while to grasp that. When I first realized that that was the case, when I was reading and listening to videos and different things, and then it starts to sink in that they really don't. We are cattle to them. That's why they. That's why animals are treated the way they're treated, because they, whether they're, you know, they start, um, you know, uh, skinning them and, and, and cutting them up for meat and for whatever. They don't care. They don't care if the animal's even dead yet. It's because they're so full of Satan's darkness that they don't care about animals and what they feel. And they don't care about killing them humanely. Um, and they don't care about us as people. They don't. We're cattle to them. We're on the same level as the animals. They only want what they want from us and what they need from us, if anything. Um, and beyond that, we're just waste. So be clear on that. And so some people do have a hard time believing that um, our, the world and our nation and Ukraine and Russia and China are moving in this direction. But they are. And those of us that actually listen to this with some frequency, 
that truth starts to get down on the inside of us and we get that revelation of of that those facts we're heading in this direction and so um it's my heart to share this um it's my heart to share some of the news that I'm hearing and that I believe that the Lord is leading me to because these two channels that I've seen just this week and we're at the half point halfway point in the week um I'm not even familiar with these channels so I want to share what the Lord is sharing with me um and we know that the world is going to be in chaos that's how this the antichrist emerges he emerges to bring peace so we know war and famine are coming that's not a surprise to anyone um the surprise is going to be when it hits i mean not not to anyone but to anyone that follows of course most of the world is going to be totally caught off guard and shocked and what is this and what's happening and they're going to be so full of alarm because they don't pay attention to anything they live within the world system we do not we we follow the things of God and the, you know, uh, pastors, churches, and YouTube channels that actually know what's going on. We follow that. And um, so I just wanted to share that much with you today. And I want, you know, we know it's going to happen. I think most of us want to, like, push it out a little bit. Like, can we just have a little longer of, you know, any kind of normal living, please? But it's, it's going to happen, and things are going to be chaotic, and then the Antichrist is going to emerge. So it's right around the corner. Um, so, again, I don't mean to alarm anyone. This video is alarming. So is Desert. Um, what is it? Desert. <laughs> I keep forgetting his name because I'm new to his channel. Off Desert. Off Grid Desert Farming. That uh, His is pretty alarming as well. He's pretty amped up when he shares his information, but we want to get the, they want to get the warnings out and then I'm sharing as well. So anyway, bless you and uh, uh, just trust the Lord. You know, we've, we're have we in the Lord's care and none of us looks forward to this, all this what's coming, but we are so blessed to know our Father God and his protection and his truth and whatever happens to us. We know it's going to be difficult. Um, but he's with us, so and we have we carry that with us every single day, all day, every day, no matter what our day holds. And that is one of the best and biggest blessings ever is to know our Father God and to know his care and his heart uh, for us. So that's all I have tonight. Look for the links in the description, and I'll see you soon, fam.